see that behind me? There's no going by. That's the bus I just rode. And uh, I don't know if she's going to stop at Burger King and drop the girl off that obviously got off work herself and waited at the Patterson Park uh, to take the bus. But I will say this. At least the driver acknowledged that this was new to her because this was her first day. And then she was just learning the routes. Now, lately I've noticed that they would have people once again training them. But not today. Instead, it's just one person on their own doing the route. And that was it. And even though she knew the Turlock route, she was kind of confused. Because when I, when I boarded the bus, she made it sound like she was going to go the Modesto Wesley Grace in it direction. But I had to make it clear to her that your thing says 45E. But again, she made it sound like she was going to be changing over to the 40 when that's not supposed to be. Or it, she made it sound like she was going to go the 40 route and all that. But we were able to, I guess you could say, clear it up to where she understood, oh, okay, you are going to uh, Patterson. But here's what's crazy. Even the newest of drivers know that when the 45E comes from the Turlock area, it automatically becomes the 45W depending on its day. Now, Saturdays are an exception because it remains the same. Because it's only every three hours. But... On the weekdays, it's completely different due to the fact that basically, no off for a second. But like I said, on Saturdays, it's every three hours, so it rains the same. But on the weekdays, it changes. It basically goes from one route to another. And that driver does three routes before I guess the shift is over. Or they get switched over to another route um, outside of what they're doing that I'm currently used to. But here's the thing. She basically, like I said, it sounded a little confusing. Because nobody straightened it out for her. Nobody told her, yeah, um, by the way, the 45 East route you're taking to Turlock, that's going to transition over to 45 West, which means you're going to be driving from Turlock to Patterson, and then after your break, Patterson to Newman to Gustine, and then back, where she would automatically switch over to the 40 unless she already did the 40, if you catch my drift. And she said it was her first day, so at least she apologized. So in a way, she kind of apologized, said, you know, she said basically she's sorry, it's kind of, it's her first day and everything, she's learning the route. But, you know, again, I go back to what I said. You know, they had people training people, you know, on these routes previously. Just not that long ago. Not, you know, not even a week ago, I should say. And yet, here we have an example of someone that, you know, is learning on their own. And you can't do that. No matter how much you might feel, it's, um, you know, it's a great move on their part, you know, hold on for a sec. Even though you might say, well, it's a great move on the part that the drivers have the freedom, independence to make their own decisions, to correct their own mistakes, let them learn on the job. Okay, that's fine, that's your opinion, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. You know, you can, here's the, here's the thing, when the driver is confused, when the driver thinks one thing, and they have to call through the CB, E walkie, if you go back to headquarters, and get it corrected from headquarters themselves, instead of being already aware of the situ aware of what they gotta, you know, change around when doing the routes, that's not good. 
that's not good now she obviously when she did get the you know the things uh, pretty much corrected pretty much um, straightened out to a point and she got on her way she did very good and the lady that was coming off of her job you know spoke you know kind of helped her out because they you know she speaks Spanish the other girl speaks Spanish or the driver does basically both bilingual and she basically made it a little easier for her to um, adjust to basically made it easier for her to uh, work around if you see you know what if you kind of see what I'm saying or kind of get what I'm saying anyway you know it made it a lot easier for her to understand anyway anyway basically hold on for a second he said you know they you know the the lady made it a lot easier for her when she you know kind of spoke to her in spanish then kind of explained hey, uh, you got to do this you got to do that because what happened is after she did get straightened it out from the headquarters you know of what she has to do you know, like what you know what route she's switching over to now um basically like i said when she you know she got it straightened out from the uh, headquarters after the stop in the, at the park one of the one of the examples of showing that she was new at this is and she was going down the road like let's say you're going down this road here going down this road well instead of going this direction which you know a lot of the drivers that switch over from the 45e to the 45w do because that's part of the route she instead started to go this way hey you know she started to go this way and they had to explain to her no 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 you go the other way so she had to do like a little u-turn um to uh, basically get herself back on track she had to do like a little u-turn to get herself back on track down the right way so one thing i will say is at least you know she at least she um admitted that it was you know she did apologize and admit that it's her first day and that she's learning the routes uh, so at least she you know, apologize and acknowledge that, hey, she's just getting to know these routes and it's still new to her because she hasn't really been to some of these places, you know, at all. Like, apparently I don't think she's ever been to Patterson or she's ever been to New Newman that much, but except maybe when she's done little ride-along trainings, trainings, like maybe something they do, um... You know, on the fly. Like, we always see these small buses, like the one I rode on today to come home. And these smaller buses, sometimes they usually use as dollar rides or training buses. And my assumption is she was probably on one of those uh, over the past week or so, learning the route, trying to get a good idea of it, a good feel for it. But when they finally let her on her own, that's when I think she kind of forgot, okay, which, you know, you know which direction I go do I go in like she probably did some uh, local routes in Modesto series and all that but she had never done the Patterson route and again she may have been shown the route doing a, a training ride um, or whatever it's called a couple of weeks ago and even though as soon as she kind of like saw where she was going or where she had to go she kind of you know got you know got it down pat she kind of remembered what she had to do um, you know, she, there were still moments she forgot. Like, when she was telling me about the route thing, she had to look it up on a paper, like, are you sure? I'm not sure. You know, it's like, she, because again, you know, she made it sound like she was going to go down the Modesto Grayson Wesley route, but she was 45E. Now, what threw me off is the buses have always been known to have a bit of a glitch to where on the inside with the computers it'll say or well, the systems on the inside of the bus it will say the route they're supposed to do but then on the outside with the little uh, sign the led sign uh, that lights up it will say another route or vice versa 
Like it'll say the route that's supposed to go on the outside, but on the inside, the computers will say something completely different. And that's kind of what happened today. Like the route she was supposed to go down and take and, and, and drive, which she did, the one I take, was labeled on the side of the bus. But on the inside, it wasn't a computer, it was like another little red LED sign. And instead of saying like Turlock, Patterson, and all that, it would on occasion flash the word Wesley. Yeah, Wesley. And it's like, why would you flash that? And I think that's where she kind of got confused. She kind of got confused a little bit um, at, the, you know, at the fact that, oh, for a second. Like I said, I think that's where, you know, the driver got conf confused a little bit about where they had to go because the inside light was flat, and, you know, along with saying, watch your step, don't forget your belongings, da da da, and all that, you know, on the screen, along with the uh, com auto, you know, you know, auto computer uh, announcer doing it, or an auto announcer, you know, blaring it out, you know, it, and all along with it, instead of saying Turlock Patterson, which it should, it said Wesley, and I think that's what confused her. I think that's what kind of confused her to the point that she wasn't sure exactly, you know, which route she was going to have to go. Like she knew, okay, I'm doing the 45E to Turlock, but what happens next? Am I supposed to go to Wesley or something? It got confusing to her, and I think what they should have done, is this being her first day, is they should have had somebody with her. That's what they should do, should do with a lot of the drivers. Now, some of the drivers on the first day do get it, and they don't need help. But I think she is one of those drivers that, you know, even though, like I said, as soon as she kind of saw where she was, after a little bit of help and, you know, you know a little bit of help from her misdirecting and, you know, going the, almost the wrong way, you know, once she saw where she was, she got it. She got it, you know, basically. And, you know did a good job in my opinion but again though I think you know that she's it was just one of those cases where she needed somebody with her to basically make sure she went down the routes correctly so that the next time she would go um, if you will the next time she would go she wouldn't be so confused in my opinion so hopefully after today even with the help of us passengers you know Hopefully she's got, got it down pat, and the next time she does the route, she'll remember, okay, I do this. I go down this route because it transitions into this route. And, and I go this way instead of another way. So hopefully, you know, she gets it now, and we can go from there. But just wanted to come on here, guys, do that little bit of a, you know, bus vlog, if you will. Aftermath, bus aftermath, vlog. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Comment down below. Live chat during the premiere. And I'm out.